Hi, Pisces. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, psychic, seer, and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for the month of August 2021. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture in these general readings. And remember, timing is going to be different for all of you. Also, need to know that some months your rising sign and your moon sign are going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Ascendant, and Pisces Moon. This card deck I'm using today is the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck. All that being said, now on to your August 2021 Psychic Tarot reading. Pisces, the first card you have is Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is a card that can mean scattered energy, scattered emotions, scattered thinking. Choose wisely from the illusions around you. You may have difficulty in making a decision about something. This could also indicate having a lot on your plate, or in some cases, it can mean a dream come true. I do feel like you're thinking about a lot of things in August, a lot of things, and you're mulling them all over. You may also be concerned about your time, like how you're spending your time, or if you feel like your time has been encroached upon, or your time has been fractured, or how you are going to divide up the use of your time of, you know, between pleasure, hobbies, work, you know, and other responsibilities and things you have to do or things you want to do. You may be posed with a, a direction or a choice. And I feel that you might be unclear about which path to choose because I'm seeing Pisces stand at the fork of a road and you're like, which choice or direction I choose. Now, that will be different for all of you. Maybe it's in a relationship. Maybe it's about moving. Maybe it's about seeking a new job or, you know, embarking on a new course of study or career, whether to do it or not do it, whether to move or not move, whether to, you know, get in that relationship or, or not, you know, that kind of thing. It's, you're at a fork in the road, I feel, for Pisces. I feel that there's part of you that wants to be or is thinking that you need to uh, be and act rationally, but there's the other half of you that does not want to do it. And you may also not have the tendency to like, you like to go off in fantasy and in let's suppose kind of ideas or uh, creative mind. So your rational mind, there's things that you're like, I have to think about this practically, rationally. And then the other half of you is like uh, kind of resisting it because you like to operate on a more uh, ethereal, spiritual, fantasy-like plane. Not all of you, Pisces. Some of you have that much more strongly than others based on the other uh, positions of the planets in your birth chart. Uh, but some of you really do have that strong component. So you may feel divided about practical thinking and logic and, you know, fantasy and uh, whim, you know, whimsy. I do feel like you're struggling with something because I'm hearing the collective consciousness of Pisces going, should I do this or that? You are being posed. I'm surprised you didn't get a card that was <laughs> two of pentacles, really, because I feel like you are weighing options here and you are at, in a bit of a dichotomy. And I do feel you have to make some kind of decision and it's versus logic versus practicality. 
And something that you were confused about in the past, you are starting to see the forest for the trees now. You're coming out into the clearing. You, you're, there's things that, even though this can mean confusion, I actually feel like you're kind of getting out of that confusion. Uh, you are going to start, in some ways, in some areas, you're going to start to see things clearly that were not clear to you before. So the next card you have in your reading is Six of Swords, and this is moving. You could be moving your residence. It could be long-distance travel. It could be having to commute for a new job or having to commute for work. It could also mean moving from troubled shores to better shores. If you're thinking of moving, I do feel that you're, you're going to be having to sort out your stuff, what you want to keep, what you want to get rid of, or what you want to put in storage versus what you want to take with you. Uh, that could even apply to travel also, like what do you want to pack and what do you want to leave behind? Some of you may also feel like there's better times ahead and that something that you're in is making you feel like stagnant or stuck, like a stagnant or stuck situation. And you feel compelled, like if I make some kind of move forward or make this decision, there's better times ahead. I feel that many of you Pisces are going to be feeling like that in August. So you could be moving or getting ready to move, or getting ready to travel. You're thinking about what to get rid of and what to take with you, or what to leave behind and what to pack. Some of you really need to pay attention to your inner voice, because I actually feel your inner voice is guiding you. And you may, uh, maybe you're not used to listening to it or you tend to tune it out and think, well, that's, you know, maybe you don't trust it. Maybe you do hear your inner voice and you do hear the voices from the spiritual realm or the, or you get the intuitive hits from the spiritual realm, but you don't, you don't want to listen to it or you're afraid to listen to it. You know, you're re going forward towards some kind of pinnacle of success. Some of you may have a promotion or a new job coming to you in the near future. Some of you Pisces are rounding out something. Something is coming to completion. And now you're going to be moving on toward uh, another project that you have to do or that you want to do. Make sure if you get presented with any contracts or I don't care what it is, a lease, a car lease, an apartment lease, a sale to buy a home, uh, you know, a contract of sale of anything important or big or any contracts you have to sign for any work or business you're going to do. Make sure you're really looking at the details of the fine print. Don't gloss over it. Take your time to read the contracts. So. Now on to your next card, Pisces, which very likely could be you. You have King of Cups. And King of Cups is a water sign person. This is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. Because So Pisces, this could be you, but it could be some other water sign person connected to you. I feel like you're getting ready, like you're ready to embark on a new journey even though I'm not reading this card now. I already read that card. This is coming up with the King of Cups. And it might have been a journey that you were like hesitant to do before. And I do get like, you got to get it. I hear you saying this. The collective consciousness of Pisces is saying, I got to get a grip on myself. And uh, like, you know, buckle down, get my act together you know, gear myself up for this. I, I hear you saying it. There may be some commitments you're ready to do to a point, but there's some commitments you're not ready to do that are bigger. So I feel that some of you Pisces, you're ready to uh, commit to certain things, 
but the the next step of the journey, the next level, the next commitment, I don't feel you're up to that level yet. And I feel that you're you're very aware that you have to be careful of what you say and the words you're using because you do feel like people are really listening to you and paying attention to what you say. And for some of you Pisces, I feel that this is at work. But it could be in other multiple areas. But I get the sense that Pisces are really feeling like you're, you're being scrutinized or listened to very clearly. And so if you're in alignment for any job promotion or any kind of employee review, uh, the higher ups could really be watching you and listening to you. And if you didn't think that, you're going to start thinking it now after you listen to this. Because I feel like they are. And uh, you might even have some other people like really paying attention to what you're saying and doing too. This could be, you know, uh, somebody you're in a love relationship with. It could be other family members or friends. But it comes up most strongly as work first. I also feel like you're going to be spitballing ideas and throwing things out there, like throwing spaghetti to the wall to see if it sticks. And this could be like with people that you uh, commiserate with and hang with. It could be with your, you know, significant other. It could be at work. But I get you coming up with like, what about this idea? What about that idea? And like throwing it out there. You know, even if there's like business meetings and group meetings, you may think you may have these ideas cooking and thought, you know what? I don't usually speak up too much or I usually play it safe. Eh, I'm just going to throw caution to the wind and start spitballing these ideas out there and see what sticks. You could be doing that. Some of you, I feel this is happening at work. Some of you, I do feel it's uh, with a significant other or your family. Those are the ways it comes up the most strongly. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. The next card you have, Pisces, is the Lover's Card. So the Lover's Card can mean two people that are intertwined with each other, romantically speaking, or that they just have strong sexual chemistry with each other. Uh, this could mean you have a lot of empathy or an uh, empathic connection with someone. There's an angel watching over the couple, which could be blessing the couple or creating interference. Some of you Pisces may be feeling like you have to make a decision about someone you're in a relationship with or something to do with your love life. You may not trust how something is happening. Something may be playing out that you're like, wow, that's a curveball, or I don't know if I would I feel or think about that. It could be the person you're intertwined with. Uh, it could be something they say or an idea they come up with or something they want to do. You may be like, I'm not on board with that. You may be changing your mind about somebody you're with. You may be like, mm, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Now I'm in question about them and their ethics or morals or their behaviors. Some of you may feel really compelled that you want to make a connection with somebody. If you're single, you may be feeling like, I'm tired of being alone. I really need to make a connection with somebody. You may be thinking about people from your past whom you've had relationships with before that, you, you know, either you broke it up or they broke it up. You may be thinking back to people you were with before and think, I, I should reach out to them again or try to get back together with them again. For some of you Pisces, that comes up here. 
You may even, some of you may be in a relationship with somebody that you have mixed feelings about. You want to be in a relationship with them, but at times you don't. Uh, I go back to that. I know it's not the two of pentacles here, but I keep getting that. I got that vibe with the seven of cups. I'm getting it here with this. So some of you are on an emotional seesaw with somebody you're with. Uh, you may not be on board with their ideas and their thinking. Or you may be not sure if they're the right partner for you. You may be questioning their morals or ethics. Some of you, this if you're single, you may feel like you're tired of being alone. And you are thinking back, like maybe you're like, I don't know that I want to go out there and meet somebody new. I had good relationships with people in the past. And you may be revisiting that or be thinking you might want to try to revisit it. You may find that uh, some really interesting, unique, and possibly spectacular events happen for you in the area of love, whether you're already coupled or whether you're single in this month of August. You may be looking at somebody you're involved with and think, you know, I like them, but they complain a lot. Uh, or again, you may be in question of their decisions, what they decide to do. So you have to think about that. So your last card for August of 2021 is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is an air sign person. This is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra sun, moon, or rising sign. It could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign, that's an air sign. It could also be you if you're born on the Aquarius Pisces cusp, but this could be somebody else, somebody you're connected to, or that's new. You may feel like there's some air sign in your life, which could be a significant other, or it could be a boss or a parent uh, or somebody you're close to, but it comes up first as a sign. It's somebody, you know, I feel let's put it that way. Somebody, you know, already uh, you may feel pressured by them. Like they're rushing you or pressuring you. They may be like asking you to stake your claim to something or to make a commitment either to them or to a project plan or an idea that they're involved with with you. Some of you may have this air sign person say to you in August or be thinking in August, Pisces, you can't sit on the fence forever. Make a choice or a decision. They may feel like you're being too wishy-washy. Some of you Pisces may feel that this Knight of Swords person has too much to say to you and it bothers you. You may look at them and say to yourself that this Knight of Swords person is unrealistic in their ideas. You may feel also like they have a lot of energy but for some of you, Pisces, you may feel like it's almost too much energy and like you can't keep up with it. This could even be a friend that's like, come on, let the good times roll. Let's go out and, you know, paint the town red. Let's go party in here and party in there. Maybe it's a friend of yours that like, you know, drinks a lot or parties all the time or is always on the go, go, go. You may feel like, you know what? That energy is like too much for me. I need to like, I need a little slower paced. It's I don't want to move at that rate. Uh, so it could be a friend to you. It could be a, a significant other. But I feel like that's also one of the things coming up here with this Knight of Swords. I really, really feel like the Knight of Swords may be kind of laying down the law to you or pressuring you or encouraging you to, as I said earlier, to make a choice or a decision. That's what keeps coming up here. And, you know, to be honest, they have like an aggressive mentality, even if they may seem like butter wouldn't melt in their mouth and they're sweet as can be. 
they do have aggressive energy and or aggressive mentality, and there's no getting away from it. It's ingrained in them. It's who they are. So it's not something like, yes, people mellow with age and over time, but it's something that's never going to leave them. So however you're dealing with them, remember that is always going to be part of who they are. So let's look at the gemstone crystal I got for you for the month of August 2021. And you got clear quartz. So clear quartz enhances psychic ability and aids in concentration and unlocks memory. It stimulates the immune system and brings the body back into balance. It harmonizes the chakras and aligns the subtle bodies. So it's an interesting stone to come up for you for this month because it sounds like you could use some of that with what came up here in your cards. It's going to help you eliminate what you do want to do and what you don't want to do. If you put this on your third eye chakra when you meditate, lie down and meditate, or your throat chakra or your heart chakra, it, if you have any confusion, which clearly you have here at some, about some things, it's going to help eliminate and make it clear to you what you want to do and what you don't want to do. It's going to help enhance your psychic vision. And uh, I, I'm getting it again. It's going to make things clear for you. So if you like, if you have a crystal, like my crystal is, is pretty big here, but you don't even need a big crystal to look at. To, I have other crystals here that are clear quartz. This is another one. I have another one just like it. You don't have to um, have a, a big crystal to look into it to get messages. You can look into a stone this size and, and uh, it, it enhances psychic ability. The crystals are almost like a computer chip that hold the energy of the ages. Uh, it's like connected to the Akashic records, to the mind of the divine. Uh, so use this to your advantage. If you have a crystal, I would definitely look at it and uh, get some insights. Don't think you can't read it because you can. It's also going to help you simplify things that seem to be too complicated to you, or and maybe even calm your energy down and simplify your energy if you're getting too worked up. Because, you know, you did have some things here that could work you up. I do feel some of you Pisces are getting uh, reviewed for your job or people connected to do with a potential hiring or a potential new position you could get at a job that you have or an employee review. I do feel like they're listening to you. They may even be listening to your phone conversations as well uh, or conversations you're having with other employees, not just how you're handling business. They're listening to your interactions with other people. I'm not trying to make you paranoid, but I do strongly feel that's happening. And you could have family doing it. I do feel that you are, you have a lot of things swirling around about either a love partner you're with already or one that, or you want to be in a love relationship. So you may go back to the past, uh, someone from the past, people you're with now, person you're with now, you may be questioning their morals or ethics. You may feel like they're too much for you. You may not be on board with their ideas and plans. The Knight of Swords could be that person you're already involved with in a love relationship, or it could be somebody new coming in, or somebody you're dealing with in another fashion that they have aggressive energy. They feel like you're not moving fast enough, or you need to make decisions. Uh, I feel they may be pressuring you, and you may feel like their energy is too aggressive or too much for you, but they're always going to have that element in them. Some of you could be moving. And if you have to sign any contracts or, de or any contracts of sale or, or uh, to do with work being done or to do with a job or anything you're going to lease or buy, make sure you read, uh, go over it carefully, look at the details before you sign it. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. 
And please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo On Demand channel, where I bring you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for a variety of very specific topics using different divination tools. You can access my most recent videos I've recorded by going to the description box below this video and click on any one of the links you're interested in down there, and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. Or you can go to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com, go to the videos page on my menu, and there you will see all the video series I've recorded, what divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for. You just pick the zodiac sign you want under the heading of the video series you want and click on that and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Some of the most recent video series I've recorded is my mid-year update, I'm sorry, my mid-year love update for 2021 for both singles and couples psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. Those predictions are going out six months, and some of the signs, they even went out till February of 2022. Not on all the signs, but some of them they did. Uh, also, my mid-year psychic tarot update for each sign of the zodiac for this year of 2021. That link is also below this video. And don't forget my psychic crystal readings for the month of August, 2021 for each sign of the Zodiac. So when I'm done recording this video, I go on to your sign and look into the crystal and bring you additional psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for August. So you might wanna check that out. Also, we're in the middle, we're still in the middle of the effects of the eclipses that we had in May and June. And I use the same format for both eclipses, same video format, same card, you know, same way I did them both. So the first video series is the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. May 26th, 2021, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card readings. Those effects last six months, so we're still in the middle of those effects right now. And the solar eclipse in Gemini on June 10th, 2021, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card readings. Those effects, are we're still in the throes of that. Those last for six months. Also, my career and finance, psychic tarot and crystal readings, those predictions are gonna go out all the way until November of 2022. So there's still a lot of time on those career and finance, psychic tarot and crystal readings. And my what's lucky and new for you in 2021, psychic tarot and oracle card readings, they were recorded in March of 2021, but their predictions go all the way until March of 2022. So there's still a lot of time with those predictions are still in play for each sign of the Zodiac. And my Saturn in Aquarius, Psychic Tarot and Crystal Readings, they go out for three years. They, were, uh, they begin in December of 2020. So last year of 2020, and they go all the way until March of 2023. So you might want to check them out. Also, if you would like to get more psychic uh, predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. I use tarot cards, oracle cards, uh, my crystal. You never know what I'm going to use. And I never know what my guides are going to say. 
And those predictions are pretty long. They're usually five paragraphs long. Some people ask me, well, who do they apply to? You're not doing them by the sign. Many people write me and say it's spot on for them or certain messages resonate with them. So I'm sure in five paragraphs, if, you're, if you feel directed to go look at them, there's going to be some message there for you, at least one, maybe more. So I hope to see you on my social media pages. And if you would like to help support the work and psychic readings I do here, you could make a donation to my channel and I have a donation link that's down below all the different video series links and it is connected to PayPal. And thank you so much to those of you who have been very kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does mean a lot and it does help a lot. So thank you so much for that. So I hope you have an absolutely fantastic month of August and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.